The PA Corona Quiz is brought to you by Black Widow Projectiles. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the PA Corona Quiz. We are getting very, very close to the pointy end where somebody's going to take home, a state is going to take home 10,000 projectiles, courtesy of Black Widow. We have our preliminary final number one tonight, the South Australian Crow Eaters taking on the WA Border Control. Now, let's go firstly, our captain from South Australia, Ryan, he's in the hospital bed. Rumour is you don't have coronavirus, mate. You've done your knee. That's correct, isn't it? I, I can confirm the rumour, yes. Yeah, no, no coronavirus, bad knee, he's in hospital, he's all right. And, uh, what a trooper, what a uh, committed to the team he is. And Michael there, well, you've, you've moved out of the caravan, mate. You're down in Adelaide now. You're getting around the state? Oh, no, just, just having a bit of a bit of R&R, &R, helping a mate out. It's got a bit of a problem. Well, great to have you back on, boys. Uh, best of luck tonight. Let's get across to WA Border Control and uh, Phil up in Kalgoorlie. How's the life up there, buddy? Yeah. Uh, very good, You're mate. Very tonight. good. Yep, absolutely. And, um, Graham, how are you going, mate? Um, tell me, what's your what's your favourite discipline you shoot? Ah, uh, I like IWSF on uh, rapid fire. Is my favourite event. Well, best of luck to you guys tonight too. Winner through to the semi-finals. The loser will say goodbye for the competition, but. Uh, Best of luck, both teams. So let's get into it. Before we get to our first round, we need to go rock, paper, scissors. One, two, three, rock, paper, scissors. Just keep the rock there, Michael. Well done, you've won. Don't I'm worry about it, he's got paper, scissors. Thanks, <laughs> mate. <laughs> so let's see what tonight's categories are. It's IWSF PA, Action Pistol, Metallic Silhouette, and general knowledge. So over to you, Ryan, as the captain. You can choose a category and the number of points, please. Uh, I'll give it to you, Michael. You won the you run the papers. Nah. Okay, mate. We'll go with the go with the game plan then. I think and try uh, IWSF for two hundred, please, Michael. IWSF for two hundred. Just trying to ease into the game. Don't want to go too many points too soon. Which state has won the Manton Shield the most number of times? Ryan? Um, I'll go New South Wales. I'm not really sure, to be honest. Yeah, my guess too. New South Wales would do me. I've got no idea what well, it see, is, quite frankly. Let's see if New South Wales comes up as the first answer. It is New <laughs> South Wales. So on the board with 200 points. Let's go across the fill and select a category in your points. Let's go, Action Pistol for 300. Let's go, Action Pistol for 300. Trying to jump out of the blocks <coughs> with a good score. How long does a competitor have to complete the move Seven and stage? A half Seven and a half minutes. Pretty, pretty quick off there, very confident on that one. Seven and a half yeah. minutes. That is, your, that is your discipline though, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But right, seven and a half minutes. And 300 points going your way. Well, first two questions and correct answers from both our teams. Let's get back across to Ryan and see what he's going to choose. I'll go IWSF for 300. Okay, let's turn the tile over and see what the question is. What score do you need to be a master grade shooter in service pistol? I think it's uh, 870, right? Uh, in service is out of the holster. I'm pretty sure it's 870, mate. So the match is out of 900s. Match is out of 900, you're going 870 to be master grade. Well, I think you might be pretty yeah. close there. Let's have a look at yeah, the answer. Oh, fantastic. 870 is the answer, yeah. two correct. Across to Graham. This is a tight game so far, you guys are really what your knowledge with you tonight. Choose away, Graham. Pick a category and some okay. points. I think I'll go for General 200. Okay, General 200. Which state or territory was the only one to conduct a national championship in 2020? There you go, I went to that, so I know the answer. It was Silhouette. So yeah, I, would, um, I think it would have been New South Wales, wouldn't it? Was the Silhouette Nationals? 
That was the, I think we went to that one. Um, mm. Yeah, I, I, mm. Or Canberra maybe. He's got his thinking cap on. So you're going with metallic silhouette. That doesn't matter what discipline it was, a national championship. And what are you vacillating between ACT and New South Wales? You'll have to choose one. I reckon we just go New South Wales. What do you reckon, Gray? Yeah, I reckon. Okay, let's reveal the answer. They've locked in New South Wales. ACT, uh, boys. It's ACT. I'm sorry, guys. I, I couldn't be any more clear than that if you want to vacillate between ACT and New South Wales. But anyway, that's all right. <laughs> let's go back. <laughs> let's go back across the Michael. <laughs> okay, third question, third category. Let's go. Okay, uh, we'll go uh, I double S F for a hundred. Thanks, mate. I double S F for one hundred. See if they can kick off six hundred points on their first round. How many men are in the team for a mixed air pistol match? It'd have to be one, I imagine. One woman and one bloke. That's a, that's a, it's not a trick question, I'm sure of that. So you're just going to go one male in the mixed team. Yeah, one male. You got any better guesses? <laughs> any better no, guesses? I haven't. Uh, not familiar with so. One is correct. <laughs> okay, back to Phil. Uh, last chance here, you're on 300 and the South Australians are on 600. So let's see what you can do here to get closer to them after the first round. Um, let's go action pistol for 200. Action for 200. What is the lowest value scoring ring on an action match target? Uh, five. It's not really a ring, five. but five's the lowest score. Five's the lowest score. Target. I think that's where they're going with that. So if five is correct, yeah. we'll take that. So five is the correct answer. So at the end of our Jeopardy round, let's go to the scoreboard. It is the South Australian Crow Eaters 600 and the WA Border Control 500. Tight first round. WA are trailing, so they get the first choice in feud round. Would you like to play round one or round two of feud? Let's go round one, I think. Round one, straight off the bat. Let's go. So we know how this works. We ask a question. There's a number of answers from surveyed people for the correct answers. If you get two incorrect answers, the other team gets to steal your points. What are the eight components of a non-EST 25 meter range needed for a competition to be conducted according to the rules? What are the eight components of a non-EST 25 meter range needed for a competition to be conducted according to the rules? Let's see how many answers you need to find. Well, there's gonna be eight. So we're looking for eight answers here. Oh, I'm feeling in my bones, this is gonna be a tough one, but uh, off you go, boys. Just start uh, yeah. guessing away and we'll see what you get. Targets would be one, right? Yep. Would we say targets? Targets. Yep. Right off the most popular answer. Um, benches. Yep. Benches. Yep. Shooting bench. Two down. Six to go. What about a shooting line? Yep. A shooting. Say that one again. A line. line. A shooting line. A shooting yeah. line. And that is not on the board. So there's one strike, one to go, and the Crow Eaters have a chance at getting your points. A timer. Mm. A timer. It's three down, one strike. What about the dividing, the dividing screen? A shooting bay or something? You call it a bay, right? You want to call it shooting bay or dividing screens? You want to try one of each of those? Shooting bay, I think. Okay, let's go with shooting bay. 
Oof. That is not on the board. Mm-hmm. There's 200 points up there. Let's go across to the South Australian Crow Eaters. Can you get one correct? All well, the points will go back to WA. Oh, I've got a, what tie, are you a tie. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Ron. What are you thinking? I'm thinking, I was thinking RO the whole time, but I think this is more in the physical build of the range, isn't it? This yeah, is equipment, not, not personnel. Yeah. yeah. More yeah. along the lines of a target turner, target turning system. So it's something to mount your targets in, target mount, target turner, something along right. those lines to mount your exactly. target. Yeah, exactly. Something that That'd be makes the target. targets though, wouldn't it? Hey? No, no. Wouldn't that be covered no. in targets? Oh, I don't know. Targets are those brown paper things. Oh, you have the timer system, don't you? Mm. Yeah. Well, I'll go turners, that's all I can think of at the moment. Yeah, target turners or target mount system. Let's see what comes yeah. up. Well, no, that's incorrect. The points stay there, 200 points. Stay with WA. Well, let's go back now and reveal the answers. Let's see what equipment we need on that 25 meter range. Backing targets. Getting very specific there. Number three. Is it RO table? Number four. Chairs for competitors. Number six. Patches. Yeah, that was one you need. With targets, you need patches. And the final answer, a scoring wand. There you go, guys. Put those down into the memory bank. Next time you go to a 25-meter competition, you'll be able to do a, a tick box check off, make sure everything's there and acceptable. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> Once the answer's up, they're always obvious. Well, now, let's get across the South Australian Crow Eaters. Round two of the feud. Name eight different types of people that may be present on the range during competition. Eight different types of people. Men and stuff women. And RO. <laughs> oh, well, you can lock in men and women, but you want to go with RO first? I will go with RO. Go with yeah, RO I first. Think so. I think you're pretty, sa- pretty safe with an RO, I think. Range officer. Uh, callers. Got competitors. Callers. Oh, caller's not up there. Do you want to go competitors? We'll go competitors okay. first for Ryan. Come on, mate. Put competitors up there. Competitors? Competitors, shooters, or athletes? I think that covers your male or female. Yeah. yeah. What type of... What was the question again? What type of people? Oh, dear what are the eight different types of people that may be present on a range during competition? Judge. 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 Definitely have judges. Scorers. Scorers. Okay, we're on a roll now. Four down, four to go. One strike. There's no the name. Register. Patches, is there? Patches, yeah. We're going patches? Yep. Patch markers, yeah, patches, markers. Register keepers. Registers, registrar. Not that we'll get. Register keepers. Um, so we've got three remaining. Pop up what we got, will you? Oh, two remaining. My apologies. You've got two remaining for a clean sweep. Um, okay. Um, what about, um, did we have uh, spectators? No, you haven't had tried spectators yet. Do you want to lock those in and give it a go? No, oh, why not? Yeah. Spectators. One to go. And we're going to play spectators. Okay, what else have we got here? Can you think of any other name for the guy with the wand? Yeah, we've had Caller, I think, but it wasn't that. If, and is, so there, like, is there another name for it? Oh, not that I can think of, no. Well, let's, um, let's review your question. Let's review your answers and we'll see if that prompts yeah. you for one more. Thanks. So you've got range officers, patches, scorers, 
register keepers, competitors, judges and spectators? I'm dying to find out what the last answer is. So away. Um, hmm. Damn. Well, uh, oh, maybe. They'd be at the range watching them shoot. Yeah, okay. And what's, whatever. Nothing. <laughs> so what was your answer? Uh, coaches. 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 Well, that's a pretty obvious one. Yeah, that's that's not outside the realms of possibilities. Coaches is correct in a clean sweep. <laughs> well done, mate. <laughs> Big sigh of relief on my part. Well done, Ryan. Yeah, good one. I couldn't think of anything. Well, let's check the scoreboard after two rounds before we move into the rapid fire. 1,440 for the South Australian Crow Eaters and 700 for the WA Border Control. You're going to have to come home hard in the rapid fire WA. Let's get into the questions. So let's get into the rapid fire and let's spin the wheel so we can get our buzzer noises. So let's get the spinning wheel going. We'll start off with Ryan in his hospital bed. You, you can't use the nurse's buzzer, mate. You have to get a buzzer from us. Well, hopefully it'll be a duck this time. Okay, let's get the wheel going. A cow. Um... There we go. Let's hear your best cow noise. Move. Please, no foghorn. <laughs> oh, you did a good foghorn last time. <laughs> That's, that's you got the fog horn again. You got the fog horn again. <laughs> there you go. You three times <laughs> Once, twice, three times a fog horn. Well done. Okay, yeah. Phil, let's, let's spin the wheel and we'll give you a buzzer. <laughs> Phil, can you make a cat yeah. noise? And finally, Graham, let's see the silly noise you're going to make. The dog, the barking dog. Okay, gentlemen, are you ready to go for the rapid fire? Five fast questions, and WA, well, you're going to need all five of them to try and come back into this match. Question number one How many rounds yeah. are collected? Okay, straight away, Phil. Graham. Graham knows this one. <laughs> rapid fire. <laughs> How many rounds are collected for velocity testing of rapid fire ammunition? The, the choices are five, three, ten, as many as the judges decide on the day. Uh, uh, I think I should know. Um, I'm going to say three. Three. I think you've lost your judge, Betty, there, Graham. <laughs> No, well, that one's incorrect. So across now to the crow eaters. You think you know the answer to this one? Yeah, 10, mate. Definitely 10. 10. Yep. 10. That is correct. That's 75 more points going across to the crow eaters. Question two, rapid fire. Jump in if you know the answer. Who was the first junior to become a junior national champion in 25 metre sport pistol? So you've got Paul Steen, Ann Fitzpatrick, Wayne Tresize, or Kerry Ann Steen? Go honk. I'll go Honk. Honk, okay. Yeah, yeah. Foghorn? Uh, a C for Wayne. Wayne, Wayne Tresize. Only because. <laughs> no. And that's incorrect. Okay, across the WA, chance for some points. 75 points if you can get this one correct. So you have a choice of Paul Steen, Anne Fitzpatrick, or Kerry Ann Steen? A, B, or D? Uh, I'm gonna guess A. Yep, That's okay, let's lock in A, see if we get the right answer. That is correct. Well done to Paul. Oh. Paul was on last week as the Tasmanian team, all by himself. Which pistol matches are included oh. in the supported rest oh. discipline? Oh. Is that oh. Foghorn oh. again? Foghorn, yeah. yeah, well done. Can't, can't help myself. Um, okay, there's the, uh, the answer will be A. Thank you, the 10 a. metre and the 50 metre matches. 10 metre and 50 metre. That is correct. 
Well, streaking away now is the South Australian Crow Eaters. And question number four. Who won more 25 metre women's sport pistol national championships? Who has won more 25 metre women's sport pistol national championships? Yeah, me. What, was that Graham? Was that Graham? That yeah, I think just Graham. Did a yeah, Graham did the bark then? Yep. So you've got oh, Linda Ryan. Oh, I think it's Linda Ryan. A, B, C, C or D. Oh, you're going to go A, yeah, Linda sure. Ryan? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that is incorrect. Oh, Ooh. Crow Eaters, what can you do? Uh, I was going to go Linda Ryan. Um, hey, Ryan, I reckon it's Lolita. And that's incorrect as well. So let's reveal the answer. Who has the most 25 meter sport pistol national championships? I'm gonna go with Elena Galiobovich. Well, it must be then. <laughs> it's Gloria Vice. Oh. Gloria, there you go. No points there. No points there. So let's go to the history books later and we'll find out what year she won, but uh, we might have to bring that up on next week's quiz. Question number five in the rapid fire. How many state associations are members of Pistol Australia? How many state associations? Oh, no. uh, up we go, Ryan, in the hospital bed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, six. Six state associations. And that is correct. Well done, mate. A bit of a trick question there, it was how many state associations? So you've got to take into account states and territories. So six states, and that was question five. Through to the semi-final, the South Australian Crow Eaters, 1,715 points, defeating the WA Border Control, 775. So well done. Into the semi-final, well boys. Done, and well done. put your hands together. Congratulations for South Australia. Well done, guys. Thank you very much, WA. Well done, guys. And Commiserations WA, you bow out here now in the competition, but thanks for being part of the PA Corona quiz. You've been really good sports. Happy to be here. Right, thanks, mate. Well, folks, that wraps up the first of our preliminary finals. It is the South Australian Crow Eaters booking a spot into the semi-finals, awaiting them there, uh, Northern Territory and the ACT. We have our second preliminary final next week. That's New South Wales taking on Tasmania, and then we'll do the draw for the semi-finals. So stick with us here on the PA Corona quiz. Thank you to Black Widow Projectiles, 10,000 of those going to our winning state. I'm Mike on behalf of the team. Bye for now. The PA Corona Quiz is brought to you by Black Widow Projectiles.